so Dan Lobby, uh, one of your colleagues, wrote this article about Jakeem Grant, who the Browns brought in to kind of upgrade that return game. Um, and it's kind of interesting. So this is from the article, Jakeem Grant, I'm thinking home run every time, he said. If the kicker uh, is willing to kick it to me, they're going to have to pay for it. Um, and, and Ashley, um, I love that attitude. You, you have to love that attitude if you are a, a Browns fan, um, a guy that thinks he's a weapon anytime he touches the ball in the return game. Yeah, especially because the Browns return game uh, hasn't really been the biggest threat in recent years. And I have Dan's story pulled up here, which everyone should go give that a read. But the last time a Browns player returned a kick for a touchdown was Travis Benjamin's punt return in a win over the Titans on September 20th, 2015. It's been a long time. And for Jakeem Grant to be a guy who that's all he's thinking when he gets the ball. I know he told Dan, like, he he hates having to signal for a fair catch. It's one of his least favorite parts of playing. Uh, that's the exact kind of mentality I think this special teams needs. And it, it's almost similar to the way we talked about Cade York, like, when in the kicking game. It was just very clear that the Browns needed to make a change. And it's the same thing in their return game, that a lot of times last year it felt like there were there was – you know, no real threat of them making the opposing teams work in that regard. And now I think they have that. And Jakeem Grant is also a guy who's going to be interesting on offense as well. So uh, definitely go check out that story. Yeah, and Grant has like five or six returns in his career. Um, so that's since the Browns have returned the last one, he himself has, I believe it's five that he has returned for touchdowns. So it is really interesting. The other thing is, um, that helps field position. When, when you have a returner, even if he doesn't take it back, it flips the field a lot. Yeah, and you think about how, how much last year they could have used a guy like that, right, where Baker Mayfield is playing through that injury and they're having a hard time getting the ball down the field via vertical plays. Like, it's really easy, I think, for to look at this now and have that perspective of, like, how important this is. It's obviously a part of the game that gets overlooked quite a bit, but... I think it's just going to be super important for this offense as they all get adjusted to one another and get adjusted in Kevin Stefanski's system and, and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but he certainly, I think, is, is an interesting guy to watch. And, you know, I see people talk about him on Twitter, and I think sometimes we're guilty of this as well, that with some of the other signings the Browns have made, uh, people might forget about him. But I think come the season, we're not going to be forgetting about Jakeem Grant.